Welcome back. Getting ready for the restart of the visit. Hampton, Virginia, 175 here on Speed, your motorsports authority. Green flag back in the air. Coleman Presley on the inside. Sergio Pena on the outside. Sergio hangs in there tough as the right rear quarter panel of Coleman Presley to his inside. Now Coleman has it. Back to Benedetto oh, on the 15. Contact. Little contact was Sergio Pena. Pena able to hold on to that second spot. Sergio definitely wanted to get back in line behind Coleman. There wasn't quite room, but uh, Matt gave him a break. Alex Bowman running in the fourth spot. Just behind him, the eight of Michael Cherry. Now we see a battle for the ninth position. Corey LaJoy, Darrell Wallace Jr. Wallace Jr. on the inside. Good side by side battle there. Corey LaJoy the hard way around on the outside. Not able to use that uh, apron for that grip with your left side tires when all you're hung on the outside like that. All in line through the top 10. So we see a little side by side racing back in the 13th position. DJ Shaw, the 37 car, Ben Kennedy, the 96. What a great run Ben Kennedy had with that third place finish just a couple of races ago. Yeah, Bowman Gray, and what a historic racetrack. And we come to Langley for the first time in the KN Pro Series East, so they're making a few more visits to these historic racetracks. Yeah, Cody Hashton gets really sideways on this historic turn number four <laughs> here at Langley Field. But yeah, long history here at Langley Field. Started out as a horse track, yeah. and they shortened it up to a dirt track about four tenths of a mile and then paved it a number of years ago. We actually ran here the first year of the Bush Series back in 1982. How'd you do? Uh, finished third. I was lost as an Easter egg in practice, and Jack Ingram finally felt sorry for me and helped me out a little <laughs> bit and told me what kind of setup to put in my car, and we ended up finishing third, and I think he won the race. Well, he didn't give you all of the advice. He gave me three of the four corners, I think. <laughs> Battle continuing here. Again, Cody Hodgson in the 0-3 was the reason that Godovic went around, but now he's falling in line. Side by side between Andrew Smith and Clay Campbell. Clay Campbell, yeah, that name might sound familiar to those of you following the NASCAR circuit. He is the president of Martinsville Speedway. Andrew Smith, that 62 car, with a great third place run at Gresham for his career best last time out. And remember now, this is three in a row for these guys. Three races in a row out of 12. So this is heavy, heavy part of the schedule for them. And this is the first time that that's happened since 2008, where they've run three consecutive weeks here in the Canyon Pro Series East. I know these guys are going to be looking for a week or two off here after this race. A bit of a break. Rick Godovic now checking up, letting the 08 of Clay Campbell get in front. That's the two of Ryan Gifford right behind. He made a pit stop under that caution flag to get that right rear quarter panel pull off his tire. We'll let you know also, Brett Moffitt got one lap back. He was two laps down because of that cut tire early in this race, so he got one lap down, and now he is still just one lap back. See Max Gresham in the 18 getting by Michael Cherry in the 8 car. What a great run for Max at his family's track last time out of Gresham Motorsports Park with that big win. Is that fair to win at your home track? What, you I mean, your namesake? You should have home court <laughs> advantage for sure. He sure did. Chase Elliott now all over the back bumper of that 8 of Michael Cherry. Good battle for the 6th spot. Saw Dad Bill up in the spotter stand earlier. Going to help Chase very, very much involved. Chase actually ran a late model race here, a UARA race here last month for a little bit of a uh, little bit of experience on this racetrack. So that's certainly going to help. We'll have to work on a nickname for Chase Elliott. Trying to go with Awesome Bill from Dawsonville. Now, I'm not sure how you can rhyme Chase Elliott in there, but we'll work on it. Yeah, you're going to have to give me a little more time. <laughs> I can't come up with anything off the top of my head. Michael Cherry still holding on to the position. Chase Elliott just behind him. You see about six car lengths in front of Max Gresham as Alex Bowman in the 16 car. And because of that gap, Michael Cherry is going to start to get a little agitated here because he knows he's a faster car than that 18 of Gresham. And normally on short tracks, you use the bumper to get him out of the way. We've seen that happen on occasion. <laughs> we'll see how long Michael Cherry will follow behind this 18 before he takes matters into his own hands. Awfully early in the racetrack to be using the bumper much. Let's go back down to Derek Pernasiglio as he is keeping track of everything going on in the garage. Matt Benedetto has a very strong car. He's running in the top five right now. As a matter of fact, this is his Bowman Gray Stadium car. And if you remember a couple of weeks ago, he won that race. But he's also racing on the injured list this weekend. Matt Benedetto came to the track sick. He had stomach cramps all day long. He's not feeling very well right now. But he is running in the top five, and he's hoping that he can forget about his sickness and take home the win. Bill, we always hear drivers say their most comfortable place is in the seat of that race car. Is that true 
Absolutely, because you're not thinking about it anymore. All you're doing is concentrating on hitting your marks, getting your car turned in the center of the corner, keeping the rear tires underneath it. So this is the best medicine for sure. There's a great battle for the 19th spot. Julian Alvarez in the 12 this week. And actually, Joey Gase in the 66 filling in for Benny Gordon. Yeah, Benny is at a wedding this weekend. So I don't know how you go to a wedding and miss a race, but Benny's doing that. He's got his priorities straight. And right now, Julian Alvarez is trying to get by at 66 of Joey Gase. And there's Ryan Gifford. Remember, we talked about him coming back to pit road to repair the damage to that right rear quarter panel smoking earlier because of the damage on the right side and they have fixed that and he's back out on the racetrack a lot of nose to tail around Langley Speedway again just under four tenths of a mile guys picking their areas very wisely as far as where they want to try to pass we were here for a race one time talking about throttle management and it was Tommy Ellis and Butch Lindley that were racing tooth and nail Tommy Ellis actually lost a cylinder on his car. When he did, he pulled away from Bush Lundy. <laughs> Too much horsepower sometimes is a curse, especially when you're trying to keep that the wheels stuck to the ground. And it makes so much horsepower, like you mentioned, the egg situation where you've got to be so soft on that throttle, getting off of turns four and turns two. Coleman Presley continues to lead. But now Sergio Pena is all over the back of Coleman. Sergio Pena very close to getting into the rear bumper there of Coleman Presley as they went into turn number one. Sideways is Eddie McDonald. How about that little that slide through turn two and coming into three. That opens up the door for Darrell Wallace Jr. Now Pena is on the inside of Coleman for the lead. Battle for the lead. Sergio Pena can he take it side by side. He's got the preferred line. As he looks to the inside of Coleman Presley coming out of turn number four. Can he take it? Yes, he's got the lead. How about that? A Virginia young man is in the lead in another race in Virginia. He's already won this year once in Virginia. That yeah, one at South Boston earlier this year. Could he make it two wins in his home state? Sergio, one of four drivers in the field from Virginia. Sergio from Winchester, Virginia. Stay with us. More visit Hampton, Virginia, 175 here on speed.